Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I mean, has anyone noticed the fact that I don't have a 22 inch weaving? All natural hair, I've got no extensions in whatsoever, which is not like me. And yeah, I'm not 100% sure on it, but I feel like it looks a bit more natural. So I keep posting pictures on my Instagram and everyone goes crazy for the way I curl my hair. I don't know why, but you guys just absolutely love the way I do my hair. So I wanted to show you guys, jump on here quick and do a quick tutorial how I curl my hair. So if you liked the video, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll just kind of jump straight into it. It's really nice for everyday hair. It's really nice for short hair. Example, I can show you that I can do it on my short hair and I can do it on my weave, which is the picture here. Uh, I think I have quite a few pictures of my hair, so I'll kind of show you guys the ones that were circulating, which you were all asking me about. So just to show you, this is what it's going to look like if you have longer hair or extensions and then we have it here if you've got shorter hair it's really nice and textured it's very volumed i love 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 this and it's using products that are completely affordable there's no upmarket designer products that we use we use everything that you can get from Superdrug or somewhere online or even argos so it's nothing too crazy it's everyone's budget and yeah we'll just get straight into it then i think no point messing around so i will skip to when my hair is straight okay so to start we're just going to brush the hair i usually go in with a tangle teaser just because it's a little bit gentle on the hair so usually i would do this on second day third day hair maybe even fourth day hair just because the more greasy your hair is the more texture you're going to have it do struggle to do this kind of hairstyle when I've just washed my hair and it's a bit more fluffy so yeah I do tend to do that on more greasier days. Usually I have a 22 inch weave in with 150 grams of hair. I have taken it out so my hair is still quite long. Like I don't know if you can see. Like it is still long but it's not as thick so this hairstyle is going to be a little bit different. I love doing this on my weave, without my weave, with clippings. It's literally you can do it on any kind of hair, that's why I really like it. So I am going to be using the Tresemme Curler. Now this is an absolute amazing dupe for the Molly May Beauty Works curling wand. I do have the Molly May one and I don't rate it as much as I love this one. Massive price difference as well. This one's only about £20 from Argos. The Molly May one you're looking at £80 to £90 easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on onto the three volume which is a higher setting and I'm going to put that on a little rubber mat to make sure that I don't burn the table. So just to start off we're going to protect the hair. We always need to make sure that we're using a heat protector otherwise we're going to cremate our hair and we don't want that. So I like the Joico Thermal Protection Spray. I'm just going to go through the hair. Make sure we're not stingy. I'm just going to brush that through to make sure it is evenly distributed and then I'm going to section the hair. I usually tend to do three sections, maybe four or five if I've got my weaving. So we're going to just go just on line with the ears. Scrape all this back. And then I'm going to pull it to the front. And then I'm just going to use a bit of hairspray. I like the Got To Be Glued one. I just find that it's amazing. And I'm just going to spray the section of hair. Just a little bit. We don't need anything too much. It's just going to make sure that the curls really hold. We're going to heat the hairspray with the curls. Don't worry, we do go in later and spray it. So it's okay. Boys and girls, if you are going to be holding your hair, please use a heat glove. The amount of times I burn my hand... We need to protect ourselves from the dangers of curling ones. I always feel like Michael Jackson with these. <laughs> Michael. The one glove. That's Beyonce, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so the technique to curling with this hairstyle is to alternate where you're going. So if I go, I tend to go back towards the front of the face and then here we'll alternate between forward and back curls. So you're really going to get that texture in the curls. If you go all one way, you're going to get that really nice beach wave look. Um, but we're going to go for more of more of a messy kind of curl. Um, and the best thing I love about this is that the Tresemme Curling Wand keeps my curls in for days. I can literally wear this hairstyle for the longest time. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's just start. I like to start with the back section first and then work my way forward. So I'm going to curl this one forwards. And you're going to want to leave a little tiny bit of the end of the hair out. 
literally half an inch, nothing crazy. And we're going to leave it for about 8 to 10 seconds. And then as we drop, we're just going to hold the curl. And then we're going to pin it. Now it doesn't need to be pinned to the head, it's just so that it dangles like that. Now the annoying thing about this is that I never ever have enough pins. So this one we're going to curl away from the face, so you're going to grab the curling wand, go behind the head and curl the hair away from the hair. The hair away from the hair. The hair away from the head, leaving again a little inch at the bottom. Ah, got stuck. Always does that. Now I'm going to leave that one just because I'm going to curl this one back as well and I'm going to pin it back together. So let's go back. And then I'm just going to pin these two together just to save on clips because I don't have. Okay. Moving on to the other side. So again, take it a section. And we're not taking huge sections either. Obviously the longer and the thicker your hair, the smaller the section I personally would recommend. Curling into the face. The only thing with this hairstyle, your hands will start to ache by the time you got to the top bit. My hands have been agony, especially when I've done arms at the gym. So as you can see, I'm only taking quite small sections at this point. And there is a method to my madness. As we start going up the hair, we are going to take slightly bigger sections. And that's how you're going to get that real nice texture, beach look. So as well, we're curling up to the root as well on this section. As we go further up the head, we're going to do more down and not up to the root. And then we're going to do bigger sections as well. So I started with the back piece last time and I curled forward, so I'm going to curl backwards. And hold for 8 to 10 seconds. Drop a curl. And then pin in place. This is honestly the best curling wand I have ever found. It is just absolutely amazing. And then always curl away from the face. And at this point we're going to leave about an inch away from the hairline. Otherwise you're going to get that big bump it's not what we want. We want the volume at the bottom and the top of the hair not during the middle bit. Don't worry if you forget kind of where you've gone. If there is no sort of trick to it, as long as if you're doing a couple of forward, a couple of back, it works out really nice. Just making sure that you're doing the first pieces around the side of the face backwards. Apart from that, there's kind of no trick to it. Ooh. So I'm actually going to take another section, I think. I'm going to do four sections. And I'm keeping my fringe out of the way as well. We're going to leave about two inches away from the root when curling on this section. Just so you can see there. Again, two, roughly about two inches away. So you will find a couple of scragglers, that's fine. I'm just going to go on to the very last top section and with this section I'm just going to take a little tiny clip and clip my fringe out of the way I'm just going to clip it out of the way so again the same technique we're going to leave about Two inches away from the hair and curl. And we're going to pin curl it halfway again. Okay. 
Then I'm just going to go around, once I've killed all the hens, start taking out the ones that have cooled. Okay, so we should have quite curly hair like this. We're then going to go in and spray it with a bit of the glue. Oh, I'm running out. And we're going to scrunch. Flick it back and just give it a little, little toss around. And then I'm just going to style my fringe. I don't tend to do much with I'll be honest I just just kind of toss it back a little bit and flick it I don't curl my fringe or anything like that just leave it just let it nice and volume once we blow dried it I'm not going to take a big comb and we're just going to start brushing through the curls at this point you need to make sure that all your curls are completely cool and look at those curls. Look how nice and loose and textured our hair looks. It just adds that little bit of nice volume. It looks like we've just rolled out of bed when we've not. This obviously looks nicer when you have got a 22 inch weave in, but I'm just trying to show you how nice it looks when you don't have a weave in and that you can do it with any kind of hair. Just to finish off, you can go over again with a bit of hairspray just to make sure it does keep it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Joyco Billion Spray Gloss just to give my hair a bit more texture it's going to make my hair nice and shiny with blonde hair it doesn't get very shiny and that is the finished look i absolutely love this kind of hair i think it's so cute and stylish it's very in at the minute it reminds me very much of euphoria they have these really nice cute curls you could even kind of pin this back here so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in my next video which as a sneaky peek is going to be a full face of primark makeup so make sure you subscribe and you're going to miss out on that